Everybody wants to get paid for the services that we render because that is the way that we build a business, that is the way that we build revenue. But what if I told you the secret to building a business and a brand is to do shit for free? Today, I want to introduce to you something that I have been doing personally for years. And this system is known as the Permissionless Apprentice Model, as coined by Jack Butcher. The concept is actually very simple. Do you know how sometimes when you walk into malls and you have these retailers giving you free samples? This concept is quite similar to that and if you are a service-based business, this is how you can actually kickstart your business today. A lot of times, a lot of service providers and business owners as well as freelancers look for clients by trying to see who is willing to pay them. However, especially if you are just starting out, how can you convince people to pay you if there is nothing to show them how good you are? One of the easiest ways is to build a portfolio by doing stuff for free. And if you are really good at what you do, this will eventually pay off for you. Let me explain. Imagine you are a music producer trying to make a name for yourself in this ultra competitive industry and you email 100 of your favorite artists or brand and produce a song or jingle for them for free. You're not gonna email them asking them if you can produce a song or a jingle for them. No, you're just gonna go ahead and produce that song or jingle based on your understanding of their brand and send it to them and say, Hey man, I wrote this thing for you, I produced this thing for you, I think it's suitable for you because this, 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 this. Please feel free to use it and if you do use it, get in touch with me so I know how I can improve. That is why it is known as the permissionless apprentice model. You do not ask for permission, you just do the work and give it to them in a gift box for free. Most of them aren't going to reply you but at some point, someone is going to reply you and say that wow, this is great, I want to work with you and then you start working with them. That not only allows you to build a portfolio but it also allows you to practice and get really really good at your craft and at some point when you keep building this you are able to build value and the next stage will be to go to the people that you're working with and say hey there you know I would love to continue working with you but I also have living expenses why not we work out a deal and so on and so forth and you already have built a portfolio and you have already shown and built value from there you will be able to get more paying clients because now you have a platform and a way to showcase your value if we dump everything down, that is actually what a business and a service provider is giving value. We are not really exchanging services for money. We are actually exchanging value for money. And our job as business owners and service providers is to communicate our value to the people who we want as customers or clients. And one of the ways to do that is the permissionless apprentice model, which is to give stuff for free, especially if you are building your business. At some point, after you have done enough free stuff, you're gonna get so good at what you do and you're gonna build enough of a portfolio and clientele to start climbing the ladder and start charging more because people will be able to see the value that you are able to give. It is extremely difficult to ask for payment before we can show value, which is why a lot of freelancers, service providers and businesses give up in the first year because everybody is trying to charge somebody but they forget that showing value must come first. And that is why the permissionless apprenticeship model would work for many many types of service-based businesses because that is an extremely awesome method to get your skill set up a notch, to build clientele, to build community, to build portfolio and to show value. And once you show value, you will be able to charge people at some point. So if you are a freelancer or business owner trying to build your business, consider doing this if it makes sense to you. The permissionless apprentice model, once you have built out enough of a brand and learned how to communicate your value, that is where you can start charging. A lot of times, doing things for free would get us a lot more than trying to charge people before we can communicate our value to people. And the more value you show, the more scarce your skill set is, the more you will be able to charge as time passes. But everybody starts somewhere, consider doing some stuff for free. Best part about this is that if you are really passionate about what you are doing, it could be designing logos, it could be producing music, it could be creating content, it could be coding, it could be building websites, as long as it's something that you love doing, the permissionless apprentice model gives you 
two times the return because before you even start making money, you are doing something that you enjoy. So even though in the beginning, you're not making money from it, what you get is enjoyment because you love what you do. You get to work with and collaborate with people that share the same passion or share the same drive or share the same goals. But don't let people take advantage of you. Keep in mind that at the end, the goal is still to generate revenue, to build some kind of business or brand. So do not let people take advantage of you by using your services for free for an extended period. However, because you have yet to prove yourself in the beginning, the permissionless apprentice model usually works wonders to build a portfolio, to build some kind of relationship with your potential customer. If you're trying to start a service-based business or you're a freelancer, try this out and let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!